Yeah, uh, I don't know, we didn't even know it knew because it's been here since like two months ago. Okay, so uh, today we're going to be looking at a rather complicated topic, Bernoulli's equation. So, what is Bernoulli's equation, you may ask? Well, it's a certain topic that we'll look at soon. So first, before we look at that, we should discuss that not all fluids can be described using just the equation of continuity. Uh, continuity. So we need more than just that to describe all fluids. And before you scream out at people at A, it can be used for fluid dynamics, but it's uh, almost impossible to use. A more uh, useful uh, and uh, a more useful uh, thing to look at is the conservation of energy. So now, uh, the conser uh, the law of the conservation of energy will uh, open to the Earth is equal to kinetic energy in a way. So that uh, we can mean. So let's say that we have a continuity, though it's still only true in most cases. The mass in is still equal to mass out. Uh, however, this does not actually apply to incompressible fluid, uh, as the, ga uh, the density varies with incompressible fluid. So now we will have. Go to uh, now. We will look at uh, this. And we can see it tells. So uh, before we look at that, uh, we have new merchandise. You can check it out. But uh, now let's get quickly back. So the area, of the volume here, actually must be the same as the volume here. So this is the area. This is the volume one. And this is volume two, which we can uh, eliminate the uh, sub. Uh, the, well, I don't remember the uh, D one. So we can eliminate those because uh, B one is actually equal to B two. However, the cross-sectional area, we'll call that A, is not equal from one to two. So. And this is A2. However, the area actually has a direct proportion to the velocity, and we found out in the last lecture. An area goes up, velocity goes down. Vice versa. So that means that if area goes down, Sorry for the line of volume as a small one. Okay. So now, velocity, the vector, actually, uh, um, we feel the velocity, the vector, also is not constant because we found out with the last lecture about this proportion, which means that as the area varies, so does the velocity to make it a sort of constant. from a while ago, but I'm pretty sure it was this relation. Uh, so now, uh, we have, now next, we are going to look at, okay, so, what we are going to try to find, we're trying to derive the rule. So, uh, this constant is actually a very helpful equation when it comes to uh, solving a few problems. So, uh, let's start out with finding all the work uh, that's being done here. First, there's all the bottom that's being pushed in this way. Uh, so we'll call that W1. And then there's all the water that's getting pushed back this way uh, from the water to the top of head. That we'll call this so now, uh, work one. Oh yeah, 
away from God. Uh, we also have the Book of John, which is called the Mosaic Commandment. So now, work one is going to be equal to work one plus his work, which is going to be the P1A1 times the P1X1. And then, the same applies to the W2. to put Thank <laughs> you. 
like a roll over app. So, Thank you. 
beautiful water bottle. However, we won't take those after chasing. Next time.